Hi everyone. Let's explore together the part one of the North African campaign of Erwin Rommel and Company of Heroes 3. It showcases the game's mechanics and attention to historical detail, providing an informative and engaging look at one of the most iconic military campaigns of the 20th century. I will keep my comments brief so that you can fully enjoy the gameplay. After years Let's of go. violent struggle against the Italian colonizers, Libya became a battlefield once again in 1940 when Italian forces clashed with the British and their allies. Then in February 1941, the Führer sent one of his favorite commanders, Erwin Rommel, to lead the newly formed Deutsches Afrika Corps. He was to help the Italians defend against the British. That was all. Less than a year later, the British were in retreat, and Rommel was driving the Afrika Corps towards Benghazi. And my home. This is our chance. Italian troops have the attention of British forces up ahead. Thanks to their efforts, we seem to have arrived unnoticed, but they will not hold on much longer. The British have fought valiantly, but this mistake will cost them the battle. It is time they learn to never take their eyes off Deutsches Afrika Corps. Panzers, with me! Push forward! Fire smoke canisters to cover our advance. Good range! Fire! Again! Hey, down! Fire smoke canisters! What do you need? Marching! With haste! The British anti tank gun is a formidable threat. Eliminate it. So, here, Rommel is asking you to help the Italian forces by strategically destroying British armor and an anti tank gun. It wasn't an easy task for a noob like me, but I let you enjoy the intense fight. Finally, I managed to do it with one last standing man. A swift and decisive strike. I would expect nothing less of the Africa Corps. However, the enemy is sure to send in a counterattack. Be prepared. Return to headquarters and deploy additional troops immediately. We will show the British, the Italian, and even Berlin, who is the true authority when it comes to desert warfare. And we're moving. I have studied the enemy lines and detected a weak point where our Italian allies continued to distract the British attacking from the east. We will take them by surprise by storming in and capturing two key locations. The eastern trench network, which currently prevents us from pushing northward, and the fuel depot to the northeast, which is sure to prove a vital source of support for our armed forces. We are to flank and entrap the British, then eliminate whatever troops remain before they even think of withdrawing to Benghazi. And once they do attempt a retreat, it will be too late. The Afrika Corps will be waiting for them. What do you 
need. Panzer Grenadiers have assembled. Ready, willing and able. The recovery truck allows us to strengthen our forces by restoring disabled vehicles. I see both a Sturmgeschütz assault gun and a Panzer with a flame projector in need of repairs. Either would be greatly useful if restored. One of the power of the Afrika Corps is the ability to restore wrecked vehicles using the recovery truck. In this part Rommel is asking you to restore an assault gun and a Panzer III equipped with a flamethrower which will be very useful against infantry units. Let's continue. What a fucking mess! We'll do what we can! The ruins in order. Make it quick! Everything in order! Forward then! Boys, we have movement orders! Let's go find some trouble! Locked and loaded! Let's move! Tooled up and moving! Now use the recovery vehicle to fully repair our salvage. Achtung, crew! Medium punch is ready! Remember, our goal is to flank the British and cut off their escape. To achieve that, we must capture two locations. The trenches and the fuel refinery. My crew have secured the location. Black 36 arriving on the field. What do you need? This An 88mm anti-tank gun is being towed to our location. Deploy it near the trenches to prepare for an armored assault. We shall use its firepower to crush our enemy's tanks. We need support! Stop it, guys! Stop it, guys! Closing distance! You have the gun. March! Yavo, we'll do it! My crew are ready. Capture job! Looks like we get the honors! Points taken. Excellent! We have the trenches. Now act fast and push north before the British can respond. Area secure and enemies cornered. Come and double work, Afrika Corps. I anticipate the British will attempt to withdraw to the northwest. We, of course, cannot allow that to happen. There is a village nearby. Capture it and blockade the road to cut the enemy's escape route. The anti-tank gun must be properly positioned to defend the roads Ready. to the village Ready. against the British assault. Here, you start preparing the final assault by clearing the village. I personally found it hilarious that locals are welcoming the Africa Corps in the middle of a heavy fight. I'll let you discover the next part, but the details have to be ignored. Get 
graphics wise this scene looks great. It offers realistic art style and color palette. Furthermore, there is a cool building destruction system. The game could have used even higher resolution textures, but that's a nitpick. Overall, the game looks great. British armor has been sighted nearby. The 88mm anti-tank gun is needed urgently at the village. And with that, we have control of the village. All that is left now is to intercept and destroy the retreating troops. Set up defenses here, or take up positions along the main road. But do not let them escape. Back in your seat! Enemy forces eliminated. Exemplary work, Africa Corps. In conclusion, this first North African campaign provides an engaging and historically accurate gameplay experience, while allowing you to get comfortable with the different units. Thank you for watching, and I invite you to follow my channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. In Benghazi, we'd been pulled back and forth between the Italians, the Germans, and the British for over two years. We navigated occupied life as best we could, siding with whoever was holding the city at the time. It was safer that way. But then Mussolini began forcing Jews in other parts of Libya to move to Benghazi. Some friends, men I'd grown up with, wanted me to join them and fight alongside the British army. I didn't want to leave my family, but I couldn't just sit around and hope the war wouldn't touch us. كان بحرة إن سرداس إيسوق غصة قرن غرس ولا إني أفتح أتن زريح. أخسك ما تعرف الدارية فن تايلتينو. أسرق تايلت أيبا. سنح سنح ولا نكين نرب دزق الداري. إزان ولا نغيب. أيبا وهو. سليمة. يصيد سكر خيكاد صدر حاديك مون حولي نكي صدر حاد مونها أولى نكي احتاج لك ما تقاور الدمام هذا استوس بيك تسنت منا هذور تفتو تايبا هذا قاعد الأخيرة تايليتينو وعد حكم